What's up guys, David here, and today we have a very special speed test that involves a little bit of sibling rivalry between the Snapdragon and Exynos variants of the Galaxy S7. But before we get to racing, I want to give a quick shout out to Norton, the go-to source for internet security software, who recently released part 2 of their documentary series, The Most Dangerous Town on the Internet. This latest episode covers what are called cyber bunkers, where organizations can safely host and store their sensitive data. Like many documentaries of this type, there are plenty of heated moments, for example when the journalist gets cussed out by a company that doesn't want to be videotaped. Don't take any pictures of me. Don't make me angry. Stay away from me. Okay, so. I'm not your f friend. It's actually a pretty intense documentary, so if you're interested in cybersecurity, you own a phone, or you use the internet, this may be a documentary worth checking out, which will be linked for you down below in the description. All right, let's get to the speed test. So you guys know the drill, we'll get this thing going by starting these stopwatches on each phone and then jump into the first row of system apps. On your left, you have the quad-core Snapdragon 820 S7, and on your right, you have the octa-core Exynos 8890 S7, which has quickly pulled ahead in this first lap with it already finishing up with Angry Birds and starting to work on Asphalt 8. But we're not even halfway through this first lap, so there is still plenty of time for both variants to show off what they can do. And really, it's this first lap that I'm most interested in seeing, as a phone's processor can make a significant difference during the initial loading of an application. So we're really getting to see which processor is faster with this type of usage, and so far, it looks like the Exynos is edging out the Snapdragon, with it being almost a full lap ahead with finishing up Photoshop Mix and heading into Lapsit where each one will create a time lapse from the same exact video file. So this could be where the Snapdragon 820 makes up some ground on the Exynos. Now at this point, it is worth noting that while the phones are almost identical outside of their processors from a hardware perspective, there are also some differences in software as the Snapdragon variant being tested here is from AT&T, which has the bad habit of putting bloatware on their phones. However, we did disable all the AT&T apps we were able to beforehand, so in theory, the software shouldn't make too much of a difference. After finishing up Spotify, the Exynos variant of the S7 moves on to the last leg of this first lap, loading up both the mobile and the desktop versions of the Amazon website. And there you go, it finishes the first lap with a time of 1 minute and 27 seconds, which is almost a good 10 seconds faster than the Snapdragon variant's time of 1 minute and 36 seconds. And the Exynos version looks to keep its lead with it actually keeping at least most of these games open up in the background, which the Snapdragon variant does not. So an unexpected turn of events, with the Exynos version just breezing through this second lap, while the Snapdragon variant is having the same old issues we've seen other Samsung phones have in the past, struggling to keep all the apps open in the background despite having the same amount of physical RAM. So the Exynos variant finishes the race with a total time of 2 minutes and 3 seconds, while the Snapdragon variant is still stuck on the gaming row, so we'll go ahead and fast forward it to the finish line, where nearly 40 seconds later it logs a total time of 2 minutes and 41 seconds. Okay, so very interesting results. The Exynos variant did better than the Snapdragon variant in that first lap, which is kind of something I expected, but what surprised me was that the Exynos variant also did better in the multitasking lap, which I didn't expect since both phones have the same amount of RAM and supposedly run on the same software. But either way, the Exynos variant is definitely the faster of the two, so it'll be interesting to see how it does against the iPhone 6S Plus and other phones on the line, so enable those channel notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming speed tests. Alright guys, that is it for me in this video. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.